Barry McGuire is one of the most exciting people I've ever had the privilege of uh, meeting and getting to know and interviewing in my over 50 years as a Christian journalist. Now that's going back to high school, but I've been doing this a long time. I've interviewed four U.S. presidents, many Christian leaders, virtually every Christian leader. And I'll tell you, Barry McGuire is in a category by himself. He's a businessman, enormously successful. He's the one that built the McGuire's Wax brand. It was a company started by his grandfather, but it really took off under his leadership. And he's the one with the television show uh, Car Crazy. He is car crazy. He's Mr. Car Crazy, but he loves Jesus. He loves Jesus with all of his heart. And when I first got to know him, the thing that I heard that he did was that he shared his faith every single day for over 40 years. And I said to myself, I need to get to know this guy. And I found out that it's true. I have been with him in various settings. We've had several meals in restaurants. Without exception, people come up to the table to interrupt and to say, I watched your show on Car Crazy. My dad and I bonded watching your show. I still love cars because of you. And, and uh, they compliment him. And you know why? He witnesses to him them. He witnesses to, to waitresses, to different people in the restaurant. I've seen this with my own eyes, and he wasn't trying to impress me. This is just who Barry is. And I'll tell you, I have the privilege of publishing his new book. It's called Ignite Your Life. And the promotion says if you want to ignite your faith with your life with effortless faith, joy, peace, purpose, and direction, you're going to love his riveting new book. And that is absolutely true. Now, I know that you know me as a journalist or maybe a Christian publisher. You expect that I'm going to push the books that I publish, and I do. If you watch my podcast, I don't do, I, I'm not able to do all of them, but the ones I believe in, and I believe in this because Barry has a truth that the whole body of Christ needs to know. I am passionate about this book. I'm passionate about you and others in the church to get turned on in the way that Barry McGuire is turned on. So stay tuned to this episode of The Strang Report. I'm Stephen Strang. Welcome to The Strang Report with Stephen Strang, the founder of Charisma. The Strang Report aims to encourage you to experience the power of the Holy Spirit and to discuss spiritual issues facing the church, our nation, and the world. Welcome back. And I want to just share from my heart about this book. I was probably the second person to read it when it was finished and turned into the editor. It is dynamic. And what he is, is he, he shares his faith. And it's not something that he has to do as a religious ritual, but something that comes out of a life totally devoted to Jesus. He likes to say that he likes to move people a little bit closer to Jesus. And this has impacted me and my wife. It's impacted uh, my circle of friends where when we go into a restaurant and we order, we, we ask the waitress or the waiter their name and they tell us and we say, when the food comes, we're Christians and we're going to pray over our food. Is there something that we can pray for you about? And I'll tell you, the reactions you get are amazing. I've had people break down and cry. One lady had been with a friend of hers when the lady breathed her last earlier that day, and she was having a really difficult day. We've had a couple of waitresses that just had horrendous problems, either with someone in their home, with their health, their own health, financial problems. Sometimes people don't know what to say, but they always say thank you. A few people will say pray for world peace or pray, pray that I'll have good health. We're glad to pray for that. But do you know what? We go from being strangers to being somebody who's concerned about them and showing the love of Jesus. And it's occurred to me, as I've just chatted for a few minutes with these people, that they probably have nobody in their life praying for them. We had one young lady say, you know, I've been thinking I need to get back in church. I personally made a phone call to a pastor area and connected them with their team of evangelists because I was visiting from out of town. But I made that connection because I thought it was important. We had another 
uh, waitress who came up to the table and said, my friend who was waiting on your table said you prayed for her. Would you pray for me? And we prayed for that young lady. It was so exciting. And why do I tell you these stories? I tell you these stories because I learned it from Barry, and now you can learn from Barry too. He's all over the YouTube. All over YouTube, he's got a ministry uh, that you can con uh, connect with him. He's made a lot of videos. Uh, part of the the uh, promotion for this book is he's doing all kinds of interviews. Everybody from Charlie Kirk to uh, the Seven Hundred Club and kind of everybody in between. He's going to be all over the media sharing his story in a way that nobody else can share it. But you know what? I wanted to give my personal endorsement to this book to say that Barry Maguire is the real deal. Even when he's facing with pro problems, even when he's dealing with uh, uh, things that could cause offense, he is a true Christian. And I, my life is richer because I know Barry Maguire, and I'm so honored. He could have gone to any publisher in America. Anybody would have wanted to have published this book, but he trusted us with his life message. And I'll tell you, you'll be inspired. You'll be inspired. You'll understand scripture in a different way. He's not a theologian. He's not a pastor, never has been. But boy, does he understand the scripture. And one of the scriptures that he says over and over, and he talks about it in his book, is the scripture that says, all things work together for good. It's a favorite scripture of most believers. Most of us can quote it, but you, most of us stop there. But what does the scripture really say? All things work together for good to those who are called according to his purpose. And what is the purpose of God? He goes through the scriptures, different scriptures say, it's God's purpose that none should perish, but all should have eternal life. It's God's purpose that we evangelize the lost and bring them to Jesus. So he's saying that those who can really claim that scripture, that all things work together for good, are those who are bringing people to Jesus. And you know what? Even if we live to be 90 or 100 years old, life is but a vapor in the eyes of eternity. We, No matter how successful we are, even Barry, who's one of the most successful people I've ever had the privilege of knowing, he's not going to take it with him. He knows that. He knows that the, the people that he can touch for Jesus, not just once in a while, not just inviting a neighbor to come to church on Easter, even though that may be what the Lord wants you to do, but every single day, moving people closer to Jesus. I mean, this is like, if we can get hold of this, we, it will change our lives. We will be, have more joy and peace and all these things because we have purpose. Our purpose is to bring people to Jesus. Our purpose is not just to have a, a calm life or a, a nice house or nice cars, even fancy uh, cars, you know, like car crazy guys like. I mean, that's fun. That's a blessing of, of God for those who love it. But it's bringing people to Jesus, helping them to grow and disciple. And I've seen this in Barry's life. I know people that he has played a part in discipling their life. I know that he's a big supporter of Teen Challenge for many, many decades. In fact, he was a good friend with David Wilkerson himself uh, decades ago, and he has helped so many people come out of a drug and alcoholism and, and be discipled. I'm just saying he is a great role model. And you know what? You get this from him. He shares his heart in this book. He is passionate. Listen, I'm, you can tell I'm passionate. I'm being as passionate as I can talking to this television camera. But listen, I pale by comparison to his passion. But you know what? It's not just personality. It's not just enthusiasm. Although the word enthusiasm, if you know the Greek words, means in God, in enthusiasm, like in theology, if you can understand. I'm not explaining it very well. I've always enjoyed uh, understanding that the word enthusiasm, I mean, it, it, even though we use it in a secular sense, really means in God. But way beyond that, Barry is passionate about Jesus, and you'll be passionate about Jesus too if you get his book. It's available in most stores where Christian books are sold, it's available in Barnes and Noble. In fact, Barry sent me a picture 
of uh, one of his family members uh, getting the book off the shelf at, at Barnes and Noble. I was so excited to get that picture. And it's just amazing the, the doors that the Lord is opening to get the gospel message out. And as I said, it's on social media, it's on Christian media. Uh, we're trying to get him on some secular shows as well because this message needs to get out. Barry McGuire is at a stage of life where he doesn't need to write a book to be well-known or famous. He already is that. He is doing it because he wants to share a little bit of him with you. And reading a book is a very private experience. You know, you go to church, you go to the theater, you go to a sporting event, you go to a car show. It's a group experience. But reading is personal. It's where God can speak to you, where God can open your eyes to what Barry is saying. I, you know, I've been a Christian my, most of my uh, adult life. Uh, many people would say I'm a Christian leader, and I am. But I learned from Barry McGuire when I read this book. I didn't read the book. I read it in manuscript form. It was hard for me to keep the pages in order, I remember. But I was just, I read it in a couple of hours because I was so gripped by the message. And as publisher, I don't have to go over most of the manuscripts that we publish. I have a team. I have a very good team that does that for me. I was interested. Steve Strang was interested in Barry McGuire's story. And I got to know Barry in a way even beyond knowing him as a person, as a man, as a Christian, as a friend. And I think that you will feel the same way. So I encourage you. The book is called Ignite Your Life. Or you could just put in Barry McGuire book on Amazon and it'll pop up and you can order it. And uh, I'm hoping, in fact, I'm, I'm meeting with some Christian leaders uh, in just a few days. And we're going to say, your denomination, which struggles to get people turned on about sharing Jesus, you need this book. I'm going to hand deliver it to some Christian leaders, some denominational leaders, and, and encourage them to read the book for themselves. Listen, when you're in the ministry, especially when you're an administrator of a Christian organization, it can be easy to be just taken over by the cares of life, and, and you forget what it's all about. Barry McGuire will help them, and we're hoping to get this into hundreds of churches and, and study groups and other things. In fact, I need your help. I need you to send the link for this uh, podcast to other people. If you know someone who would resonate to what you're hearing, send them my video. And then in that way, I will encourage them to get the book. So, you know, I could talk on and on. I hope you can tell that I'm excited about this. But what I'm saying is heartfelt. I believe this 100%. My own life has been changed. Your life has been changed. And listen, I publish many good authors, many good authors, over a thousand books in print right now. Listen, I believe in the books or we never print them in the first place. I don't want to take away from Jonathan Kahn or any of the other great authors we have, but Barry McGuire is in a category by himself. It's a message that I want to get out and my doing this podcast and sharing my heart with you was my way to do it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing to the Strang Report. That helps us out. And thank you for sharing this with others. Tune in again for another episode of the Strang Report. I'm Stephen Strang. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Strang Report with Stephen Strang. Stay up to date with the latest episodes by subscribing on YouTube and Rumble, as well as your favorite podcast app at cpnshows.com. Get the latest reports delivered directly to your inbox by subscribing to the newsletter at strangreport.com. For almost 50 years, Charisma Magazine has brought believers to the front lines of revival and highlighted the very best of spirit-led living. Stay connected with the worldwide move of the Holy Spirit and be inspired by Christian leaders and authors by joining with the legacy of Charisma Magazine. Go to charismamag.com to see virtual issues and subscribe to receive your very own physical copy delivered right to your door.